Hey YouTube! So this is a requested um, video or requested review. Um, I had two different users when I did my last Lush haul uh, make requests and so I am fulfilling that. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing Happy Bubble Bar and Schnuggle Body Butter. And so I'll start with Happy Bubble Bar. Um, this is what it looks like. And I used about a third of it. Um, I usually, unless it's a really large bubble bar, I try to use them for three baths. Um, and I'll just cut them with a knife. And I usually use a, a can as leverage. So I put the knife on whatever I'm cutting and then whack it on the top with a can. It's very fun. Uh, just because some of the products, when they arrive, they're very fresh and soft. And when they sit for a few days, they harden up. Um, so on the website, this said that it was supposed to be a citrus scent. And smelling it like this, it's kind of, um, it smells like laundry detergent or like a dryer sheets or something like that. You get kind of a light citrus smell. Um, when I put this in the bath, I was pleasantly surprised. It had a definite, like, kind of like a, a florally orange scent, but it wasn't very strong. Um, it made the water a really, really pretty turquoise color, though. I used this with um, Magic Bath Bomb, half of a Magic Bath Bomb. And so the water was just this really, really blue between the bubble bar and the bath bomb. Um, so I don't know if I would purchase this one again. Maybe. Um, but there are definitely other bubble bars I like better. Um, so this one's kind of a... Maybe a two and a half or three stars out of five. It was all right. Um, the bubbles it made were pretty good. Um, but then again, I used that little tea strainer technique. So it made pretty good bubbles. The smell was decent. Um... It was an enjoyable bath. It wasn't like fantastical. Um, but I'm starting to notice more and more that with bath bombs and bubble bars, uh, once they're in the bath, I don't really smell them. Um, now, if I walk in the bathroom after, like an hour later, I can smell the scent in the air. But when I actually run the water and get in the bath, I can't smell a whole lot. Um, there's only a handful of products I've used that really give that scent smell. Now, I guess I could use more of the product, half the bubble bar or the whole thing, um, or, you know, a whole bath bomb, and maybe that would change it, but anyway. Um, and then the other product, Schnuggle, uh, I really like Lush's massage bars. Um, there was a period of time I was using them every single night before bed, and lately I've been kind of lazy. I haven't been doing that, and I don't like using them in the morning just because I'm always rushing out the door to get to school. So, um, this is Schnuggle. This is the sample I got. I've used it maybe two or three times. It was a pretty good sized sample. It smells very soothing, um, kind of like lavender and baby powder. Um, it smells a lot like Dreamtime bath melt and not quite like therapy. But anyway, I love this. Um, what I've noticed with the massage bars, especially with therapy, like I rub it on my stomach and my legs wherever I have a little bit of stretch marks. Um, and any of the other massage bars, I'll like rub them on my arms, rub them on my belly, and it's just kind of soothing. It makes my skin soft and it just feels nice and the scent is usually relaxing. Um, I have a lot of, of the massage bars. But the problem is that it leaves you very oily. So when you use this, um, and I don't know how much of this you guys will be able to see, but this is supposed to be like powder and massage bar in one. So I guess it would be like if you used a massage bar and then used a, one of the dusting powders. But when you rub this on, it doesn't leave that greasy, um, greasy feeling. It just kind of leaves your skin feeling moisturized and soft, but without like that really oily, um, you know, like you can't ever rub it all in kind of feeling. I'm gonna put this, uh, put this on my bed. I would rather put it back in the baggie. But yeah, I'm not sure how much of that you guys will be able to pick up. But you rub it a little bit, and it starts to get, um, you know, uh, not greasy, but it softens up with your body heat. And then when you rub it in, you don't get that greasy residue. It absorbs. It doesn't get all over my sheets and leave streaks on my sheets or, you know, grease marks on my sheets. So I think this is excellent for bedtime. Um... I really like the massage bars, but I can't justify buying any more until I use what I have. And I think this product would be a way better bedtime product. Um, so yeah, you don't see like that shine and oil. 
it massages right in and that's it. It's it's not going to get on anything. It's lovely. Uh, so I highly recommend it. It will definitely be something I'm going to purchase um, probably the next time around that I purchase any Lush products. So I hope that helped. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And I guess we don't have ratings anymore, right? Uh, and let me know if you guys want any reviews of anything else. Um, yeah. So hope you enjoyed watching and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.